सी इंटर ज्वाइंट प्रोडक्ट बाय प्रोडक्ट एम सी क्यूज वेन अ बाय प्रोडक्ट डज नॉट हैव एनी रियलाइजेबल वैल्यू ओके कॉस्ट ऑफ द बाय प्रोडक्ट इज ट्रांसफर टू कॉस्टिंग पी एन एल अकाउंट बी बाय प्रोडक्ट कॉस्ट इज बोर्न बाय द गुड यूनिट्स सी बाय प्रोडक्ट कॉस्ट इज इग्नोर्ड एंड डी बाय प्रोडक्ट कॉस्ट इज डिटर्मिंड बाई टेकिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ सिमिलर गुड्स Now, first of all, if a byproduct will not have any scrap value, I think so. It should be given the treatment of normal loss itself because it does not have a value. So, if you'll remember, then normal loss cost is always borne by the good units only. So, if the product will not have a sale value, then obviously none of the methods will be working. So, where will the cost of the byproduct go? so it will be apportioned among the joint products which is there so therefore answer in this case should be b by product cost will be borne by the good units that itself will mean that cost of the good units that is the joint products will be increasing i see ai i think instead of writing option b as by product cost is borne by the good units they should have written by product cost is borne by the joint goods okay that is the joint products but then it's okay it's all fine so answer should be b over here that's the correct answer